Hey everybody, Double P here and welcome back. So in today's uh, quick trading session, I took a loss. So we're going to go through it. So this is a learning lesson as well for everybody. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, going to come over here. And so that you see this right here. So you see this is my margin account, full margin account. So that you see that there. And we're also going to come over here so that you see right here it's a full account right here so you can see uh stock is in real time so we go stock so i have amex uh, new york stock exchange and nasdaq all real-time feeds come down here to equity options equity options is in real time uh, equities and futures options i don't uh, get into that yet uh, so that's why that's delayed that you see that there forex is real time and others in real time as well so you see the full account there all real time so uh today is uh wednesday uh october 27th and i'm cutting this video around 11 o'clock so you see real time trade so today's trade i decided to attack enph and and uh so what do we do first we always map out our box right so you see where the stock opened up right here won very high on top of the box so remember what i said if it opens up if it opens up literally almost three levels above the box and it's strong you're going to see a strong movement right you're going to see some dip action but you're going to see some strong movement but you should always be prepared to be able to make sure that you might want to think about going short as well. Because if it opens up high, unless it's super strong, it's going to come back down and it's going to start trading around this area and it's going to start slipping. So just be very, very, very mindful of where the stock opens up. If it opens above the box, you, we go long. If it opens up below the box, we go short. If it's inside of the box, well, we don't take the trade because that's a range bound trade. I mean, you could take the trade. So what's gonna happen is you probably wanna do a spread. You might wanna do like a, a debit spread or a, or a call spread or a put spread. So that's another lesson. So what happened is I'm an intraday momentum option scalper. So I'm looking for directional moves. Now, at the time, this thing was moving like 28% or so. So when I got in, I took this trade thinking, well, not thinking, I'm looking at my system and everything was firing go long because of what happened, right? So let's go over this real, let's go over this here. Let's go over my order fill first. So you see the loss that I took. So when I entered, uh, it was at 9.57 a.m., got out at 10.06, bought 100 contracts at 2.50, and it took a loss of 136. So let's go 9.57, 10.06. So let's go over here to 9.57. So right in this area, that's when I jumped into my trade. As you can see, I mapped out Fibonacci extensions because we were going to go along. That's what the system was predicting, the quant system, and in a way it did, but I missed that move. So when I entered, uh, it was at 9.57. Let's come over here. I entered. Let me uh, open up the candles here a little bit more so that you can see them. And let's get a little bit bigger so that you can see that there they'll make it easier for you so 957 so you'll see exactly what happened so at 957 that was my entry point and you can see right there and I should have been watching these candles and I was kind of watching the candle because it was at the 61.8 percent and the 78.6 so I'm thinking okay when it bounced and we got two nice candles right here, two nice green fill candles. I'm thinking, okay, we're gonna be good. 
we're going to rock it up. Not rock it up, but we're going to be, okay, we're going to move up. We're going to challenge the high and we're going to either break through the high or we're going to plateau and move out. Okay. So obviously that didn't happen. You can do everything right. You can pick the right strike. You can pick the right uh, option. You can pick the right uh, strategy. Uh, you can pick the, the right uh, limit order. But the market is going to have a mind of its own. Right? So 10.07. Let's see 10.07. So basically, I got out here. I mean, I had to get out because of the position size that I took. And it was just nasty. And then you see what happened. As soon as I got out, we got a little bit of an up kick. Then it dropped again. So I'm glad I got out when I did because that was a loss that I wasn't prepared to sustain. And then as you can see, let's move back over here. And as you can see over here, uh, now we've been trading in a range, right? For the rest of the day. Time now is what, 11, 11.05? So you can see here, it's just been range trading, right? So between the so between the fifty percent and the probably say about eighteen right here, just a range bound trade, right? So you take a loss. So I took a loss. Uh, let's see here, so that you see that right there. So you can see right there, it took a big loss today, eleven thousand four hundred dollars loss. So don't copy and steal my shit or excuse my French, don't copy and steal my stuff, All right? So took a loss, learn from the loss. You can do everything right, thinking the stock's gonna move in the direction that you want it to move, but you take a loss. So it took a loss, that's okay. This is the second loss this month and I'm up for the month. So, um, what can we say? We obey our rules, right? We obey our rules. We get into position. We look at the position. We get stopped out. End the story. It didn't challenge for the high again. So that being said, my name is Double P. So hopefully you enjoyed the learning lesson for this particular uh, day trade, uh, intraday trade. Uh, it was like whatever it was like eight eight nine minutes i guess it was so the same thing in and out so i don't want to stay in positions because i don't want this to happen i don't want to be in this range i don't want to be trading back and forth in this range because this is like this is like no man's land unless you're going to be doing some type of a spread i mean then that, that's a completely that, that that's a completely different situation then you can kind of sit there and say you know what put your put your trade on Put your spread trade on, close the laptop, walk away, All right? But even then, I probably wouldn't walk away. I'd be like, eh, you know, we're seeing where the 20 is right now. We're seeing where the 200 is right now. You know, it's one of those things. So that being said, my name is Double P. If you like the learning lesson, we took a loss. Real traders take losses. I don't know any trader that doesn't take a loss. Take it like a man, take your lumps, move on, lick your wounds, move on, live to trade another day. This is the reason why you're able to trade another day is because you know your discipline and your stop losses and you get out and then you live, you look at your, you look at your mistake, you look at what's going on with the marketplace and then you say to yourself, okay, what, did I, what lessons did I learn? What lesson did I learn this trading session? I'm going to do better next trading session. Then I'm going to uh, get in tomorrow and have a successful day trading. So those are the lessons learned. Subscribe, smash that like button, share this video, even though it's a loss, it's still a learning lesson. Share it so others can learn from it. And uh, I'll see you, oh, right over here somewhere, maybe above, maybe left, or maybe right, or below, or somewhere. Obviously, there's going to be a link to my site. Uh, definitely, if you want to come join our group, definitely come join our group. We have a high percentage of wins in the side of our group. Today wasn't the day for us. That's okay. We live and learn, lick our wounds, move on to another day. So I'll see you in the profit zone. Take care, everybody.